Hello, this is my solution to the logistic growth equation. The logistic growth equation starts off with a differential equation that has dp dt equal to kp times m minus p, where k and m are constants. m is the maximum growth capacity of the population. So first we need to start off by separating the variables. So we end up with dp over p times m minus p equals k dt. Then we'll have to integrate both sides. And the right-hand side is a really easy integral, but the left-hand side actually requires partial fractions. So I've actually already done the partial fractions. Let me put those up there. So the partial fractions are over here to the right. And you can see that this is our um, this is the uh, integral over here that we need to redo. So I'm gonna put m on the outside, so one over m, integral of um, one over p minus one over m minus p. Sorry for the slanted fraction bars there. dp equals integral of k dt. Now, that m out in front, I think I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by m. So that means m is going to end up over in front of this one. And then when we integrate, we end up with ln of absolute value of p. That was supposed to be a plus up there. So minus ln of absolute value of m minus p equals mkt plus c. All right, so we can take these logarithms right here and put them together using the log rules, and we'll end up with ln of absolute value of p over m minus p equals mkt plus c. And now we could exponentiate, but I know where we're heading with this, and I want to make sure that I can get p all by itself. So I'm actually going to multiply both sides by negative one. And so when I multiply both sides by negative one, it's like raising this to the negative one power using our log rules. And so now this becomes ln of, we don't need these absolute values anymore because m minus p is going to be positive and so is p equals negative mkt minus c. Now we can exponentiate e to the power of both sides and we end up with, I need a little more room here, um, m minus p over p m minus p over p equals e to the negative mkt. And I'm going to write this as times e to the negative c, right, using our uh, exponent rules here. Now that can become m over p minus 1 equals e to the negative mkt. And I'm actually going to take that constant that right there, the e to the negative c, and I'm gonna say that is a, right? It's just a different constant a. So then we can make this m over p. I actually didn't mean to change colors there. Let's go back to the original color. m over p uh, equals one plus e to the negative mkt, uh, and I needed an, that was an a in front of there, right? So that was going to be a, let's put that a there, forgot all about it. Now we need to um, take the reciprocal of both sides, or I'm going to use the, I'm going to multiply both sides by p and divide both sides by all of this, and so we'll end up with p equals m on the top over 1 plus a e to the negative mkt. 
And that's actually the logistic growth equation. Sorry this wasn't a perfect video, but uh, I keep making mistakes and I decided I would get it done. So there you go. There's a solution to the logistic growth equation.